It was a perfect storm of issues for the Sanford Event Center as many tried to attend last Friday's men's beaver hockey game. A Josh Peterson looked into the issues and has some reminders for spectators. While it appeared to be a full house at last Friday's men's beaver hockey game, it took longer than expected to fill the arena. It being the first game of the season and the Beavers playing against a nationally ranked opponent, the large crowds were too much for a new security measure and ticketing system. We had some scanner challenges with the season tickets and it was a printer error actually on the ticket. There was a QR code and there was a little, little spot on it that wasn't correct and it created scanner issues. Our hope was to rescan and get things back out to people and that slowed us down. While the ticketing issues have been resolved and new cards have been issued for season ticket holders, the Sanford Center is offering incentives for those who experienced the inconvenience. Well, for the for the purposes of the season ticket holders, we actually had a, a discount at all of the concession stands for all the season ticket holders. However, with new security measures, those who attend events at the Sanford Center may need to start some new routines. To help minimize delays, Sanford Center officials are asking visitors to have a few items ready before you head through the metal detectors. Items like car keys and cell phones. It's, it's really just about us interacting with folks and people starting to understand it. The great news is people were receptive. I mean, and, and they weren't, you know, they weren't angry. They understand. Uh, most of us are not thrilled about it, but it's our reality. It's our new world. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. The Safford Center has held additional training for its employees and increased the size of its staff to assist with getting everyone through security quicker. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.